Before Euro-American settlement, many languages were spoken in Western Oregon. Some of these languages were closely related to one another, and some were very different. Many people spoke more than one language because it made trade and traveling for social gatherings and ceremony easier. Intertribal marriage was common, and this also made multilingualism more common. On Coos Bay, two closely related languages were spoken, Hanus and Melek. Melek people lived in villages along the bay just south of Empire, around South Slough and Cape Arago. The lower Coquel people, also known as the Nasoma, also spoke Melek and lived around the mouth of the Coquille River. Hanus was spoken by people living at Empire and in villages going up the bay and north to where Lakeside is today. The language of the Sayusla and Kuich, or Lower Umpqua people, was spoken from North Ten Mile Lake, north along the coast to Ten Mile Creek Stonefield Beach Wayside near today's Lincoln Lane County border, and far up the Sayusla River, Lake Creek, Smith River, and on the Umpqua River, part way between Scottsburg and Elkton. To the north, the Alsi language was spoken by the Alsi and Yaquina people, and these four languages have often been referred to as the Coastal Oregon Penutian languages. The Penutian languages are believed to be a family of languages that has been spoken in the West for many thousands of years. Most of these languages are found in Oregon and California, such as the Kalapuyan languages, Sahapton, the Kalma, Maidu, Wintu, and other languages. However, many linguists see the coastal languages as being quite different from the others. Hanus, Melek, Sayusla, and Alsi have lived as neighbors for many generations, and since many people spoke more than one language and people regularly traveled for trade, these languages kept influencing each other, as well as the Salish languages to the north and the Athabascan languages to the south. Because of this contact, there are words that were borrowed from neighboring languages.